Greetings, I'm Chappers. I'm the captain. We've got the new RG, dirty, filthy looking, Ooh. spotted beast. Oh, it's a dirty winch. Look at it. RG721 MSM. Yes, stands for Maple Spalted Maple. Well done. Um, Does it? So, yeah, this is another new model for 2017, <laughs> part of the uh, ever growing RG Premium range, which is the sort of the the, the mid priced kind of Indonesian stuff that uh, Ibanez do. Uh, so this is actually a current, the RG721 has been a model in the catalogue for a while now, but this is the Full first alongside one. alongside R2D2 and C3PO, didn't exactly, they? Exactly, yes. Um, this is the first one, I think, with a maple fretboard, but not just maple, bird's eye maple. Ooh. Straight from the captain's table. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the only people that know about <laughs> British food culture will understand that reference, Lee. Uh, and a spalted maple veneer on this guitar. So we'll take you through some of the basic features of the RG721, but it's really just those two features that are different on this model. So uh, give us some tones, Robert. Okay, I can't do a French Lee. There Lee. it is, Lee. Lee. Before you play this one, again, it's another one of those, I don't know what order these videos are going to go out in, but in the last video we did an Ibanez with two humbuckers but a five-way switch. And in this position, it's the humbucker wired like it normally would be. But in this position, it's these two coils wired a little bit like the neck and middle pickup would be on a Strat. So you, oh, you get you, in between? Yes, yeah, so if you go between that, that yeah. Nice. I like that, I might need a little tiny bit of crash. And it's really, really light too. Uh, feel it, feel it. That is a heck of a lot lighter than those yeah. RG6s and RG7s. What's this going to be made of? It's got to be basswood wood. or Tree wood, hasn't it? It is basswood, basswood, basswood. God, it almost feels. It almost feels like it's not made of wood. If that makes you know, it's, it's quite rare that you would pick something up that was wooden and yes, it'd be that and light. Think it's too light, but it's lovely and light, resin too. So the 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 tight end bridge that uh, Ibanez use on on a few different models, I really like. It's like a it's like a high mass, very chunky, but completely stable and bolted to the top of the guitar bridge. Really designed for maximum sustain, strung through the body. Um, do you know what the pickups are called? Uh, no. These are the Ivanis Cap VNs. Oh, really? VMs, yes. Is so, that a tip uh, of the hat? Absolutely. Tip of, they, a tip uh, of the cap to the they, cap? They listened to a lot of my playing and said, do you mind if we uh, call our pickups? No, I don't know what cap stands for, but yeah, Cap VM pickups. Um, this beautiful spalted maple veneer on the top. Really, really like that. We're nicely offset by this sort of orangey kind of tiger eye Which abalone. I have to say, normally, I'm not a fan of this kind of uh, an exterior yeah. of a guitar, but in this model, with the yeah. spalted maple, it doesn't look over the top and garish. Yeah. 
uh, bird's eye maple fretboard, which uh, looks like it's actually the, the bird's eye maple is about you know a couple of mil thick and it's a separate fretboard that's then glued onto a regular maple neck, which is their five piece neck with the uh, the walnut going through it, like a walnut kind of ply laminate sort of thing. I think it's walnut, isn't it? He says looking at, yes, maple and walnut. Normal Ibanez enclosed machine heads, nice satin finish. Do it, Lee, have a little chop on the Red Dwarf oh, too. I'm not very... Uh, go on, mate. Go on then, I'll, I'll do my best. Um, but I like this, you know, I've always, I've never been a big fan of uh, Floyd Rose systems, so I like this kind of a tailpiece. <laughs> flat fretboard I'm guessing it feels much the same as the last ones we played so I'm guessing again around about a 16 inch radius yeah um, I still want a slight drop to the end yeah that's what's nice about guitars like this you know with the with the, the bridge you know no trem system Rob can literally drop tune <laughs> A great feel to the string. Let me just take a bit of the low end out of the sound. going to get on on spalted maple is one of probably the most variable looking types of wood that you can buy it's a disease tree um, and I was just looking so the stock image that Ibanez will be using on their website of this guitar looks completely different to this one um, so I suspect well I say completely different but very very different which if, if you dive on over look in the links below I'll put a, a, a link to, to the description of this guitar you can see so if you're gonna buy this guitar, either go to uh, your local guitar store and pick the one, you know, see, you know, see what you're gonna get, or ask them to send you photographs. Yeah, maybe you might be able to get <clears throat> photographs from from an online dealer. Certainly, Anderton's a lot of shops are, are gonna get really annoyed now, aren't they? No, well, Andertons are kind of used to doing that. If you, you know, if we've got a couple in stock, we can we can photograph them so you can see them. Uh, or if maybe you, you just like Lucky Dip. If you um, really, <laughs> if you really like this one, this one is one six one zero zero four eight three two. Yes, but this one isn't for sale because this is an Aww. Ibanez prototype that'll be going back to Ibanez. Well, I say prototype, it's like a like an initial production run. So this isn't ours, this That's is going shame. back to Ibanez. But I'm just making the point that when you see the picture online of the, you know, the RG721 Spalted Maple model that all dealers will post online, um, it's not going to be identical because to wood. the one that you get. Because wood. But, but particularly where you've got heavily, heavily figured wood. Um, so, well, there you go. There's not a lot else to say, really, is that it's a great, yeah. great sounding guitar. Really light, practical for gigging. I'm, I'm, I actually prefer, I think, for this sort of super strat guitar. I prefer that weight. I prefer the yeah. really lightweight to the. And again, we got heavier. the steel frets and the titanium truss rod. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. And how much is it again? Six hundred and fifty pounds comes in again. That sort of semi hard case uh, from their premium range. Elf door range. Um, you know what I thought was really cute in Brighton before we leave you? I saw a little electric box 
and some one of the local artists had made a sticker and it said oh, and on it it's, it was like like a, a council sticker that you'd see like a road sign and it said ferry door keep closed kids and they put it on the electric box i thought it was really sweet i've been rob chappers and i've been the captain take it easy Tell me about Rory. So he uh, edits videos. Rory's awesome. <laughs> <laughs>